Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show all of you guys how you guys are be able to use Canvas. I try my best to explain everything as good as possible so you guys have any, won't have any problems. I'm not going to make this video long as well. I just want to say that please be patient until the, until the end of the video. I will provide a link in the description as well for the search code, but please be patient until the end of the video. The reason is because if you copy and paste, it will never help you in any type of programming and it will just make yourself and make your mind much messier and makes you think that you're not good at programming i feel that i was in that situation before so please be patient until the end of the video if you don't have any problems and yeah that's pretty much it oh yeah by the way make sure to subscribe for more videos like this join to our discord server link in the description with that being said let's just get into the video all right so um there we go so there we are in the command i did really, it's just a simple but i made i'm not gonna really get into it i did it or stuff like that so normally a command handler is gonna be usable so we're gonna name the command canvas.js so basically we're just gonna go ahead and um use a very simple um uh, a command handle template uh, we're gonna use canvas as the name of the command and yeah that's pretty much it so we're just gonna go ahead and first install canvas so we're gonna do npmi canvas so make sure you guys have that updated if you don't have. Let's go ahead and start off by very easy thing. So we just want normally the picture to be sent. Like another thing, any special or something like that. So we just want the image to be sent. Simply first, we're going to go ahead and require canvas because we're going to make a canvas image. So there we go. So once we use canvas, it's going to require canvas. Um, I, I'm sure pretty, I'm pretty sure you guys know what is this. So we're just going to go ahead and secondly, we're just going to make sure that um, the canvas first create a resolution. So I'm going to explain how it's going to work. So technically, all of the commands I'm going to do is going to be inside of this thing here. So you don't have to be worried anything at all. Make sure you have this one ready to go without any problems. And although um, all of the commands I'm going to like this command right now, I'm going to do is going to be code inside of the model that exports or run. Uh, don't worry about other things because these are for command handler if you don't know what are these. So let's go ahead and start off by the create canvas and what resolution we want it. So basically 720 um, it's a picture with a rank card resolution. So uh, if you don't know what 725 uh, you know uh, pixels, it's technically pixels as long as I know. So um, 720 50 is a uh, picture of a canvas technically you will see how it's gonna look like but if you want to set the resolution or maybe the size of your image you have to put the width and height here so it will work don't worry it's all fine so we got this here and uh, next we we told about that if you use canvas uh, without capital c it's gonna go ahead and create us a canvas with that resolution and now we're just gonna go ahead and use ctx for this because we don't want it to be a treaty or something like that so const ctx is equal to canvas that get context 2d so we don't want it to be 3d or anything it's just a 2d picture so yeah that's pretty much it and then we're gonna go ahead and use a background so this is where you're gonna put a picture so we're just gonna go ahead and use uh, i'm gonna go to browser and maybe search for a picture so we're just gonna search for a picture i don't know let's just search for let's search for a normal background or something i don't know um let's use this why not so let's go ahead and save it and make sure you save it somewhere that is accessible so we're gonna go to github i'm gonna call the picture um background you have to save it outside of everything so you won't have any problems so we're just gonna go ahead and now tell the bot what is a background so firstly we're gonna use this here as well the background cost background is equal to await canvas that load image the load image is gonna be background for us so background the jpeg so there we go so we got this here we set the background now now we're gonna draw it so basically it's gonna draw us a picture so there we go we're gonna do ctx draw line draw image background which is the background in here and then the you know zero zero we want to make it aligned without any problems in canvas that width canvas that height you can also set the canvas that width as well you just have to you know put some numbers but we don't need this for now because it's just a background there's nothing really big deal about this if you want to put text into it that's where you're going to learn math and where the math comes from now we're going to go ahead and easily make this a picture like an attachment or anything like that so we're going to go ahead and require discord in here why because we're going to use something called discord dot um message attachment and that's because we're attaching an image so we're just gonna go ahead and do cons attachment in here cons attachment equal to new discord message attachment canvas to buffer welcome image that okay so this is not gonna be uh, something that is gonna be a big deal but i'm gonna put this as the 
an image name. So the, whenever they download it, it's gonna be called as an image name, which we're gonna set the image for the name of the attachment or anything like that. So I'm gonna set the name to example.png. You can set that anything you want. Make sure it's PNG because PNG is the most compatible as long as I know. Now we're gonna send this attachment. Easily, we just have to do message.channel send and then it's gonna send the attachment so we're gonna do attachment basically and i think that's pretty much it there's nothing else we should be worried about so now if i run the bot easily um what not okay my bad i have to install something all right so we did the node dot now we're gonna go to the proxy i'm actually the test server that i have we're just gonna go ahead and first do canvas and i think easily it should work there we go example picture so as you can see, the picture looks pretty good. But the thing is, as you can see, there's some like alignment problems. You know, it's just it's just OK, in my opinion. So we finally learned how we can attach an image easily without any problems. And as you know, the normal picture that we use is technically the example right over here. So honestly, no, it's actually correct. <laughs> it's actually correct, but we have to make it a little bit wider. So you won't have like, uh, you know, it's not a little wide, but uh, normally it's totally fine. Like as you can see in the picture, it's literally the same anyway. So. We can make it wider, we just have to go ahead and set the create canvas resolution, so, or the size. Anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and now put another picture on this thing. Easily, we just have to find another one, but however, I'm gonna find a picture. So, let's search for, uh, ex, uh, button. Let's get this here, honestly. Yeah, there we go, and we don't really need to be worried what it is, but I'm just showing an examples for this. So, now we just have to go ahead and make another picture which is gonna be like for example an avatar or anything like that so so we sent we saved this one as the png format and now we're just gonna go ahead simply uh tell the bot uh, here we go we got bot and a png so simply we just have to go ahead and tell the bot uh the, to draw image at the same time too so we're just gonna go ahead to go ahead and before this attachment we set the background and now we want the avatar so the avatar is going to be equal to await canvas load image remember the user the display avatar url so technically you can also do this you can put the display avatar url in this picture like my avatar on my discord but you can also put a custom picture so as you remember we did like a load image here like this with the location i'm gonna do that you can also do this but we can also do both so i'm gonna show an example with this one first uh, without like using the button one and then we can also load another one with that so now we're gonna also draw this so there we go so we got the draw image avatar um 25 0 20 200 canvas at high so so we set this to like these are the positions that you gotta play around with if you want to change your stuff uh, which is gonna be a lot annoying i know but you gotta deal with it it's just a normal thing that discord canvas has and it's annoying. I, I wish there was a website that you can set this much more easier to find the best location for your picture, but it seems not. So anyway, so we just have to go ahead and now do node dots. And once we do node dot here, um, I think simply if you do canvas, we have a problem here. Member is not defined, of course, because we didn't define member. So we're just going to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do message.member.user how about this i should remember that user so we're just gonna do another dot again it works so there we go i have my avatar near this as you can see the alignment is a lot messed up like i said you gotta play around with this and it's not a thing that is gonna be done easily so let's just say we have this one here i want the button as well so i just have to go copy and paste this thing here together um you gotta play around with the positions and that's when the math comes you gotta calculate it um it's gonna take a while for sure but um it's technically what you gotta do to create a canvas and it is not simple i agree but um you have to play around with it this is a command that needs a lot of trial i think that's pretty much it thanks for watching make sure to subscribe and like the video for more videos like this and that's it this is dash and i'm out peace guys